Hello, everyone. Welcome to my room. I'm staying at the moment in Finland. I got this idea of making interviews with musicians from, from different parts of the world because I think it's really important to ask, how are you? How are you doing? So I was thinking how the other uh, musicians around the world are handling the situation. Also, I would like to talk about local music scene, what's happening over there, and of course with the art of the musician itself. I start the first episode of my interviews with an artist, a producer, MC for his Tyler, called Kilobit Maker from the city of Medellin from Colombia. So let's invite him. Hello. Hello, we have Kilobit Maker. How are you doing? How are you doing? Hi, Julia. Hi, Kila. We know each other well. We yeah. Do. We've been working together. I have booked yeah. a couple of tours for Ilder, Kilobit Maker, to Europe. I've been your tour manager. You've been producing my music. We've been also living together for a couple of years. So, yeah, how are you doing? Yeah, fine, fine. Uh, working and focusing in make uh, music and, and try to understand the situation. In your normal life, you're playing quite a lot of DJ concerts. You also have a band called Radio Caliente that you're playing also live concerts with. And you're a producer and you're working a lot in, in the studio. So The thing is, uh, right now, for most of the musicians, we are in a situation that we can play music outside in concert venues. So for me right now, I, I changed my my way to think. Nobody knows how long it's gonna take this situation. So right now I'm focus, focusing in produce, make music and build, I think build a new company or something like this. At the same time, it, it's, it's great thing because you can put a lot of energy in and create and make music. You've been making quite a lot. It's really cool what you have done because you just released a week ago, two weeks ago, on SoundCloud, yeah. album of instrumentals and beats. Yeah. And you yeah. gave it actually for free for the artist. The idea yeah. was that you gave it for free for the people that they can download the tracks and make, in like, improvising or rap or... First of all, I make one album, just intro, instrumental, for people who are in this moment in home. The idea is trying to catch the different, uh, you know, uh, talents for the artist and try to make a second version of this album with the artist singing and rapping in, in, in this album. There is people in, in UK, people in Africa, people in Brazil, and I'm making this kind of collaborative, collaborative album yeah. uh, with different people, with a different artist across the world. After that, uh, we are working in the, the uh, singles with different artists and try to put outside maybe once uh, a month constantly i don't i don't i don't have uh, a schedule i i think the idea i just love the concept i think I, i think it's really current one of the things that every one of us we have to learn to be present and do the things do the things with the tools that you have in your hands right so what is the situation in colombia right now mm, the situation in colombia but we are doing well the situation because there is not panic or there is not a lot of people you know dying for the COVID-19 but at the same time it's difficult because more than 50% of our population live for the the incomes is for independent jobs a lot of people work on the streets and they try to get money for other people on the streets. But <laughs> right now there is almost anybody on the street for the reason, yes, it's, a, it's, it's hard for these people because they, they don't have incomes. 
uh, and did I understand right that actually it's been a complete like lockdown now for seven weeks already or six weeks something like that uh, almost for, yes two two months and how often you can get out once a week yeah that's a that's a really really tough um and tell us about medellin's music scene medellin right now is so diverse it's diverse there is uh, different genres but mostly reggaeton is the most important stuff but they are not there is another another um, generous coming they are coming like guaracha is a kind of electronic music uh, with latin sound and it's gonna be so powerful in the future that guaracha is gonna be the next the next step for the music industry in colombia cool and and what is happening in the independent music scene in, in medellin Right now, it's affected because independent music, they, you know, is not the. It's affected because we don't have a structure. We don't have, we don't have uh, money in the culture and stuff. Most of the people who live in this kind of uh, music or art, uh, they live just, you know, day by day. They we don't have uh, support of the of the government or support in our bank account. So, so this is the the situation right now. You've been also working with various hip hop artists recently. Yes, I'm working with different different uh, urban artists like reggaeton, like hip hop, trap. I think the the way that I work is not focusing one genre for the reason I'm not uh, identify with one one type of music. Tell us about a little bit of your the album that you released last summer. Fauna. Fauna. Fauna is 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 interesting because it's an album inspiring to for the situa- the global situation with the with the nature biodiversity of our country, but at the same time we are destroying and right now have more sense <laughs> this kind of album because yes we are living this situation directly related with the environment. So I feel proud for, for that because it's, it's music that I, that I feel in this moment that I need to contribute our uh, environment or our music scene, something like this, something, and I, music for, for be more conscious, I think. I think and dance. Right. <laughs> yeah, dance is always good. As you said, it's really important to be conscious now and maybe this can be also a moment to think about our life, the decisions, the the society where we are living in and be more conscious. Yeah, last year after releasing your album, you made, or we made actually together, I was uh, your tour manager. You played in Finland, France, Lisbon, Spain, Seagate Festival in Budapest. First of all, it was a great, great uh, moment in my life because uh, I shared with different, different artists and different people, you know, different places. And I opened my mind like, you know, anybody. Um, but right now I feel like, like this, this moment like a dream because we don't know that is going to happen in the future. So I feel uh, thankful for this opportunity to uh, travel with the music and share with other people. Is there something what you would like to tell to the world? Greetings from Medellin. Mm, take care. Take care and try to be connected with yourself and think in the future everything is going to change or is changing or is different right now so maybe the best thing that we 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 can make is rethink everything and try to make the best best thing for the future in my case reading is read books 
uh, working on the studio, uh, play with my cat, um, and try to find people in internet who thinks in the positive way. Thank you so much uh, catching up with me and sharing your thoughts about the situation and telling about your art and the art of your city and really hoping that the things are getting better and going well and and we all should listen when the album comes out thank you julia thank you for the invitation